Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're going to get into your tarot cards. Once we're done with that, we will pull some oracle cards to see what uh, Spirit's direct message is for you guys for this month of 2021. I want to wish you guys happy Valentine's for those of you guys that celebrate. How are you doing, Sagittarius? I hope you're doing amazing. If you guys hear a bit of static noise in the background, I apologize. It is freezing. It's like 36 or something. Um, and I have the heater going. So with that being said, <laughs> let's get into your reading, Sagittarius. All right. So we start off the month with the Six of Swords. Moving on to Calmer Waters. Moving on, we have the Lover's Card. New opportunities coming towards you. Manifestations. Wow. Knight of Wands. Hot and heavy here. You have the Devil card, the Ten of Cups, the Six of Cups, wow, and the Three of Swords. Okay, I was like, uh -huh. a Sagittarius perfect reading? That's rare. <laughs> All right, my lovely. So let's get into your reading. Let's see what Spirit's messages are for you. Now, I do see you guys dealing with the situation. For some of you guys, it could have been a situation where you were getting to the point of being able to ascend being able to propel um your energy towards a new beginning towards something that was for the betterment of your growth here with the six of swords six of swords is always moving on moving towards the future uh this is leaving a situation that is no longer uh, bringing to you any type of stability. Now with the lover's card, this could have been a choice or a decision between two people. The nine of cups is emotional fulfillment. This is also the hopefulness card. This is about hopes and dreams. With the knight of wands though, I feel that for some of you guys, you could have been dealing with a person from the past and a new person that showed up or popped up into your life. If you are not connecting, this can unfold for the month of February. Six of Cups always indicates to me a connection with a past relationship. For some of you guys, you could have been dealing with some type of commitment or a person that you've been with for a very long time. There may be children involved. And you could have met a new person that came in or you will be meeting a person that is coming into your life. This is new type of energy here with the Knight of Wands. But with the Three of Swords, I feel that you guys are choosing to remain in a situation where it is more familiar to you. It could be because you feel like you have to sacrifice yourself. It could be because you feel like you want to give your children a better future or you want to bring some type of stability to them. However, with the Devil card, there is a need for you to release yourself from a toxic energy or a toxic situation, Sagittarius. The devil card is always about bondages. With the six of swords, this is telling you that there is a situation that you need to release and free yourself from. Again, this could be attachments. This could be bondage. This could be addictions. This could be uh, the addiction of choosing over and over and over a person that is from your past. Uh, a past lover, a past uh, partner, choosing them over new beginnings or choosing them and always them. The devil card is always a signifier of toxic traits. It's almost like you guys bring out the worst in each other. Now, spirit is giving you here an opportunity. I see with the lover's card and the nine of cups, there is a new connection that's coming through. This is a energy that is going to be very powerful. It's almost like when you meet them, you're going to feel that intense connection. It's like you guys can keep your eyes off of each other. It's a very strong connection here. But I see you guys deliberating or trying to figure out a decision. I see you guys very confused. Um, and it's almost like you may feel like you're being selfish because you're wanting to pursue this connection or you're wanting to pursue your happiness but you don't want to pursue it at the expense of your children if there's children involved here 
You don't want to pursue it at the expense of family members or friends that are against um, against you not wanting to work it out with an ex-partner or a person from your past. With the Three of Swords here and the Knight of Wands, what they're telling you here is that, Sagittarius, you are at a pivotal moment right now in your life. Where is it up to you? what the outcome is going to be for the next coming months. And I'm not just talking about right now. I'm talking about the next coming months. With the Three of Swords, this is um, dealing with hurt, dealing with being let down, feeling betrayed in some way. Knight of Wands is immature type of energy. So it could be that you're dealing with a person from your past that perhaps has cheated on you. Or perhaps they have a tendency of being very aggressive or they have a tendency of being very immature and not really trying to grow from that. And what they're telling you is that what they're telling you is that it is time for you to take control of your life. Only you and only you can you change the outcome in your life only you can change the situation if you're tired of dealing with this type of energy what are the changes that you're making that are going to propel you into a new beginning into a new more stable more healthy connection it's about understanding our toxic traits here with the devil card and releasing yourself from this energy do you continuously keep going to the past because it's more comfortable, because you feel lonely when you're alone, because you feel like they know you and you're comfortable there? Is it because of that or is it because you feel that they bring the type of intensity that it's very difficult to match? And a lot of the times people often find themselves questioning or asking you know am i really in love with this person that i keep putting up with all this craziness and the truth of the matter is most of the time people it's not even love it's just that you're very used to the chaos you're very used to the toxic uh, energy of connections because they're so eruptive because they're very intense and that's what ignites you but it doesn't mean it's healthy it doesn't mean it's good for you and I see this connection coming through for the majority of you where you're going to be challenged. This is a person that is coming in and the energy, it is very explosive, you guys, but I do feel that there is some type of insecurity within you. For some of you guys, you feel like you're not ready for their energy. For others of you, it could almost feel like you feel that in some way there is a fear of rejection that this person is going to reject you because you see them so very high and there is something within you questioning or wondering if you're worth it or if them giving you the time is is something that would actually be able to happen or is it just in your head and what they're telling you here is no it is up to you only you determine what you're worthy of. No one else is going to choose that for you, not even spirit. It is up to you to accept the blessings that show up in your life and take those opportunities or to continue being on this toxic, negative energy of dealing with people just because you're comfortable, just because you don't want to spend some time on your own until the right person shows up stop falling from the for the past is what they're telling you let's see what spirits direct message is here yeah i feel very heavily for a lot of you sagittarians you're going to be definitely you're going to be uh challenged for this month and for this month it could be the challenge of a relationship that is currently falling into pieces or falling apart because they're trying to guide you towards a much stable more healthy relationship but it is up to you whether you take this opportunity or whether you last a week or two weeks broken up and then go back with your ex because you're scared to be alone. And what they're telling you is you're not giving enough room for this new person to come in, for this person to sweep you off your feet, or for you to really experience this deep connection. And it is only up to you and only you to make that decision. It is only up to you to again keep going to the past or decide to break the chains of the past behaviors and move forward 
in a most positive and better way that is going to bring to you happiness and emotional fulfillment here with the nine of cups okay now spirit's message here is illumination yeah i definitely see that i see for a lot of you guys for this month of february things are going to be coming out in the open and, and this is more of like you self-actualizing this is more of you catching on to those traits it's questioning why do i keep going back to this toxic energy why do i keep embracing these toxic energies something's just going to click in you Sagittarius where you're going to realize you know what I want my life with purpose and I want to build on connections that are going to be solid that are going to bring to me not only happiness but consistent happiness you see what I'm saying versus dealing with 15 minute happiness you also have purification. This is transmutation type of energy. This is you becoming illuminated and being able to purify yourself, being able to see clearly and concisely where you want your life to be, where you want your life to go. And this is you taking um, those decisions and making those choices based off of the happiness that you deserve, the happiness that you should get and and see this is exactly what i was talking about here with solitude i feel that for a lot of you sagittarians out there you may have a tendency of going back to the past or going back to ex-lovers because you're scared of being alone and being alone is being single is very different than being alone being alone is a feeling within you and you have to learn to find yourself again you have to learn to enjoy your company again and you will only find that through solitude solitude is a moment in time in our lives that it is necessary for us to spend quality time with ourselves to learn about ourselves again to find ourselves only through that will you be able to not only be ready to connect with other people but to be able to draw into you a healthy strong long lasting relationship is what they're saying okay all right my lovelies i hope this gives you some type of insight some type of guidance i want to wish you guys again happy valentine's to all of you out there and we'll see each other soon bye